but I was, and I was, no, but like having to say that on the podcast (laughs) because you're bringing it up. You're accosting me. I, you're the one that said I was comparing dogs to women, which I was not doing. John but, is yeah. fucking gaslighting. <laughs> you're gaslighting the hell out of you. <laughs> I feel I know what she feels like now. Man, I feel like this thing is like right in front of my face. Well, that's a good assessment. <laughs> you are really good at knowing where things are. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode. Jared, get your stupid <laughs> headphones on. Sorry. Welcome to episode 88 of the Dropouts podcast. Episode 88. Yes, little swag boy. That's where we're at. That's amazing. Thick daddy. Thank you. Congra- <laughs> what did you just call me? Because you got some you got some thighs on you. Stop talking about my thighs, man. They look great. Should I put pants on? No, no. no. The Honestly, people want to see your thighs. Those are the thighs. The pe- those are primal thighs. <laughs> the primal I've been, thighs. No, I've been talking to a lot of, of women as of recent, and they... Um, did I say episode 88? Good job for watching. Um, I've been talking to a lot of women as of recent, and, and they say that my shorts that I wear are too long and that women like shorter shorts because the thigh is not necessarily erotic but attractive to them. So it's a good job that you're showing a little thigh. Thank you. Um, uh, did you think about that when you put the outfit together? No. I just have always worn short shorts. Yeah. So you might have started this whole trend. No, definitely not. All right, sure about that? Hey, Jared's going to hit some uh, intro music, and then we're going to shut up while it's going on, everybody. Hit it. No, we can definitely talk. Don't you say a word, Jared. I'll punch you in your teeth. You'll punch me where? I'll call HR. I'll call Indy in Australia. Welcome to episode 88. My name is Indiana Masara. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, John, it's like... Uh, you're you're back from Australia. I mean, Indy, it's like you're back from Australia. How does it Thank feel you. to know that if they remade The Passion of the Christ, you would definitely play Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. I mean, you you are... I can't tell that's a compliment. Well, you are the picture-perfect version of a white Jesus. Okay, you, thank you for clarifying. Um, you're not actually what he would have looked like. Right. Because... He was not... He's definitely Middle Eastern and not whitewashed. A hundred percent. The church yeah. sometimes likes to think. <laughs> but uh, you, on the other hand, look like white people Jesus. So, like, if there was, like, a local production of, like... Oh. A Jesus play. Yeah, you would never be an understudy. I feel like this mic is, like... It feels very intrusive. <laughs> Why? It's, it's just, like, right up in my it's face. It's a little phallic as well, so it's... <laughs> this is phallic? <laughs> well... <laughs> We have had people in that seat try to fit the whole mic down their throat. So. Oh, yeah. whoa, who? Well, Indy. Indy. She, I've, I've on multiple had, occasions. I've had to cut that. Uh, she Okay, but. no, listen to this. She, <laughs> she, we got in a probably 20-minute argument because she said she could fit this whole mic in her mouth. <laughs> and we just open your mouth and just, tr- like, you don't actually put it in your mouth. I'm putting something else in my mouth. Okay, right he's now. eating cookies right now. <laughs> but uh, for the listeners on audio, this is the... A very big mic, and it would be hard for anyone to fit it. Jared's looking at the mic. How, He's assessing. How wide do you think that is? I would say it's the size of a Campbell's soup can. No. Also, I feel like I'm smacking. A, li- a little or thinner. A La- or a LaCroix can. Or, yeah, it's about the size of a LaCroix can. 12 so, ounce. Unless she's unhinging her jaws and going full anaconda on that anaconda. <laughs> like, it's it's not happening. It's, yeah, it's not possible. John's over here. He comes on our podcast, and he just eats a cookie. You think you think this is entertainment? I mean, Jared, do you I'm want a cookie? Yeah. Is there... Yeah, I've got a whole bag. Like, are they okay? Are I, they? I bought twelve for six dollars. And oh. that, from where? Hell of a deal. Diddy Reese. What is that? It's a shop in Westwood. Do you I, want one I'm or not? I'm still kind of sketched out. Are they, they're no, not they're, weed they're, cookies? They're, are they? No. Okay. Who do you think I am? Well, I, I think you're John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I'm going for the chocolate, chocolate right here. Oh, Zach, you want an M M&M and M one? I've already had one. Oh, you already had one. I don't want to take too many of John's cookies, unlike you. Thank you for a cookie. Isn't it good? It's really good. My man's probably cheating on me. Meanwhile, we're just passing around cookies. <laughs> we're passing around cookies. And we're just describing them in the way that they they are. Um so so John's here. You've been you've been really hyping up this story you want to tell us. He said, I've got a I've got a story for the podcast and it's gonna blow your socks off. Look, I've been peeved about this all day. Well, this well, is like this is a place to talk about it. Look, you know how like something happens and you're just like I can't get this out of my mind. Do yeah. I have any chocolate on my face? No, no, I think you're good. Just sheer beauty. You know, I'm a, I'm a thorough storyteller, so I've got to give some backstory. You love okay. dramatic pauses. Um, <laughs> I do. So let's backpedal to four years ago. Four years four, ago? Four years. This story is layers. Okay, let's go. Peel them back. Four years ago. How many years? Four. <laughs> gotcha. On New Year's Eve of 2018, a woman that I was dating, she and I broke up. Let's roll a clip. <laughs> I don't think there's any footage. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So we break up. All right. Sorry for your loss. It's fine. And 
it was it needed to happen. Um, and basically, she after that she like kind of wanted to get back together, and I was like, I don't think that's a really good idea. She was like, I need you to tell me that you don't want to be with me anymore to my face. And so bold. <laughs> oh my god, this is a big ask. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? So we met up at a coffee shop, and I was like, Yeah, I do. No. So we 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 have not spoken in four years, right? And then I, at the beginning of 2022, I decide that I need to break the four year period of silence. Why? Because I'd been thinking and I felt like I needed to apologize for some things. And um, so specifically, I, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't give us a hint, dance around the subject. Basically, there were just some things. Adultery? <laughs> no. He's a good Christian boy. No, he just looks like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no adultery. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, just like some silly things that I did that were uncool or some. Like. <laughs> some. Uh, I, I cannot go into the details. Okay, that's fine. You know what? It's fine. We'll we'll leave the audience to wonder. All, Comment below what you what you think John did. Just think, just some... take your mind to the worst possible thing. Okay. Besides adultery. It was or murder. Or murder. Or she's still alive. Or anything like like pirating music. Not even that. Wow. Okay. Um so I call her. I text her first and I say, Hey, like if it's okay with you. I would love to call you and apologize for some things. Like, if not, like, I totally get it. It's been four years. Like, you That's probably That's the most don't John move ever. <laughs> hey, I haven't heard from you four years. Forgot <laughs> even the things you did wrong, but I've been thinking about them. <laughs> and I want to clear the air. <laughs> it was probably a totally unnecessary call, but she said, she said, oh, wow, it's crazy that you just texted me. This is the last day I'm going to have this number because oh. she lives in the UK now. Wow. And so, like, talk about, like, timing, right? Yeah. So I call her. And I say, hey, these are some things that I want to acknowledge. Like, I know it might not mean anything to you, but, like, I feel like acknowledging that this is... I think that you should acknowledge that something's wrong. Even in four years. <laughs> Do you think she'd forgotten about it? I don't think... Well, on the phone, she was like... When I apologized, she was like, are you talking about this? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, wait, wait, wait. You're apologizing. She's like, I forgot your last name. Um, it, w it was probably a more selfish move on my part. Like, more something that I felt like I needed to do for myself. And that's okay. Sometimes Did you kiss you your gonna, mom? What happened? No, I, it doesn't matter. I'm going to assume you well, kissed her mom. Well, clearly it does. You've been thinking mm -hmm. about it for four years. Yeah, you call her out of the what blue. What could have happened after four years? I can only imagine the worst. I mean, it was just like a silly. It was an unprecedented situation in my life, something that I've never experienced and probably will never experience again. And some acknowledgement. Acknowledge. <laughs> 100%. Keep going. Uh, oh man, I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> that was at the beginning of January, right? Yeah. Keep in mind, she that was the last day she had that number. So she okay. has a new phone number, and there's no way that I would have it unless Correct. I asked her for it or she reached out to me. Yeah. So she follows me back on Instagram, and oh. she hadn't followed me in four years, right? Mm -hmm. Must have been a bad so, breakup. Like, yeah, seriously. I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I those details don't really matter. I, but it's an important to acknowledge yeah that, yeah, I didn't, yeah that I did not reach out to her for four years. Okay. Okay. And then the one time I did was to apologize. Gotcha. Yes. We're okay. all caught up. No more jokes, Jared. Stop. This you is stop. really important. Okay, I will. Okay. okay. All right. So then I get this text from her like uh, a little bit later in January. She's like, wait, John. And then it's from a UK number. And Ook. I didn't know that she didn't say, hey, this is so-and-so. Um, I just inferred by the way she texted and because it was yeah, UK makes sense. and she brought up something that happened while we were dating. So she texted me, right? All right. And then we texted like back and forth for like a while and like caught up on our lives. And then that was it. Okay. So fast forward to like <laughs> a night ago, but so she lives in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. And so That's what I we heard we can only assume at this point. That's very important <laughs> to remember. So I DM her on Instagram. Classic. Because I, I was, I think I saw her story or something. Um, Classic story reply. But I DM her and I said, How is the Ukraine stuff over there? Oh, oh John. John. <laughs> Why, what, what possessed you to even bring that up? Here's the deal You're using war to get a baddie back? No, no, no. First of all, phrasing it Ukraine stuff was ignorant and stupid. Yeah, we're caught up on that part. <laughs> because stuff is a really menial word to describe the tragedy that's happening 
over there. Yes. Right. Agreed. Um, so yeah, the way I phrased it was sure. Like, like the, the equivalent of, are you up? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you just phrased it with a global crisis. But I legitimately was curious. Like, yeah. Okay. What is the condition? You are yeah. much closer to home to this situation. No, I'm going to be honest. When you said she lived in the UK, my first thought was, I was like, that's a hell of a time to be on that side of the world right now. Right. Yeah. And so I was curious, like, what's, what's it like over there? Mm -hmm. It's way closer to you than it is to us. Like, I, I legitimately wanted to know. And then we messaged maybe four messages back and forth. I liked her last message. That Lasted was it. at that. Yeah. I legitimately was inquiring about her experience. Okay. So <laughs> the next day... I get a text from a friend of mine and she says, so-and-so is making mean TikToks about you. <laughs> oh. oh my God. And I said, what? And it was one that she posted to friends only. And y'all know I'm not TikTok savvy at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't even know how to download the app. Yeah. No. <laughs> so she sends me a screen recording of the video. Should we roll a clip? <laughs> I, we should not roll a clip because I'm not going to be, if she was being petulant and I'm not going to be petulant back. Okay. So, but I'll play it for y'all. Okay. So you can know. Yeah, or you could just explain it either way. I'll explain it. Do you want to hear it? I feel like you need to hear it live. We need. Okay, let's hear it live. Let's do it live. Let's do it. Or I'll explain it. Yeah, either way. I see your original COVID lockdown text from your high school ex asking if you were back in town and raise you the World War Three. How's the stuff in Ukraine text? Oh, <laughs> oh my. And <laughs> like. I can't I can't blame her for making that. Can I please keep that audio in? That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. That's pretty funny. We never we, we, Yeah, we can't see her face. Nobody knows who it is. Can you and it's on close voice? and it sure. I'll distort <laughs> the voice, John. No one you didn't say a name. It's on close friends only. No one's going to know who it is. Look, I just I I'm not saying this to like jab at her back. I'm just sharing it cuz it's grinding my gears. <laughs> It's really chapping it's, me. It, it's, it's, I raise you the World War Three. How's the Ukraine <laughs> stuff going on? I so, legitimately wanted to know. So, she, But she thought you were trying to use um, a war to get back into her life. Right, but this is the problem. This is the problem. Is The way she captioned it is she captioned it, Will this man, all caps, leave me alone? Oh, my God. My brain is all caps melting okay <laughs> okay so that, that's Jeez. and then the comment she comments and says i swear i have other exes this is just the only one who's all caps actively accosting me oh, oh my god john what did you and then do? her friend says omg ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then she responded and said begging this man to leave me alone all caps and and it bothers me. I feel like it should bother you. Unless yeah, you did something really crazy that you're not allowed to say. So you didn't murder anybody. You didn't cheat on her. You didn't um what was the other thing you said? I don't I know. I didn't pirate music. You didn't pirate music. <laughs> and you didn't sleep with her mom. What on earth <laughs> could you have done that you are accosting her? But the pro the problem is, is the way the relationship went is we broke up, she reached out, and then I didn't want to get back together. I don't, I mean, I was not a, a knight by any means. No King Arthur. No, yeah. like, I was pretty scummy. And okay. like, I'll admit that. But but in what way? I, that's <laughs> not important. <laughs> it's the most it's, important. It's clearly important, it because, it's clearly no, important because you're accosting her. I don't think that it is because if I was accosting her, why would she text me some random thing about a play she saw in the UK and text me from her UK number like she she reached out to me. Yeah, cuz that that, that would have been like the point of no contact right there right. Is once her number switched. It, I, it, sounds, it sounds like she just wanted a little bit of attention. But the thing is she put it on close friends. Yeah, so, so it's not even no, like No, I mean it, just from her friends. Oh, yeah. I yeah, guess that's one yeah. of them is more friends with me and sent it to me. So now you send it to her right now live on air. Let's FaceTime her. <laughs> <laughs> what if she would answer? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be petulant. But Loving that word today. I know. Sorry, this word, word of the this day. Is word of the day. Word of the day. <laughs> He's like, I got to check it off five times. That's three on the podcast. I just need one more because I, I used said it, it at the I cookie said it store. Three times. <laughs> I used yeah. it at the cookie store. But it bothers me because she's like asking, like actively asking this man to leave me alone. Yet she's the one reaching out to you. Right. 
That's just I, I like Zach's theory. I think well, I think it was just like she got that text. Zach and I had the same thought when you phrase like when you said what of you course. sent. And so I think she just wanted to make a funny video I for think, her friends. I, and I think a lot of TikTok, like a lot of people, when you do TikToks like that, they do blow up. And but she put it on close. No, friends. no. Here's what I'm saying. She made it to not put it on close friends, and then saw it and was like, oh, "John will probably see this, but I still want my friends to see it." She thought like that's this a good is point. Grade A content. Yeah, she's like, "This needs to be seen by people." Honestly, if I saw that on my for you page, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. It's really funny. It was a really dumb thing to ask her. Yeah, and it was really poorly phrased. So Ukraine, huh? <laughs> anyway, what are you wearing? Is that basically how it was? <laughs> but the worst part is she puts a screenshot of the exchange. Was your name in it? I was like, did she have the courtesy to block? I was really be... embarrassed at, when I was watching it because it is embarrassing. You, it is embarrassing. Dara, did you ever have ex girlfriends or people you don't want to talk to, and you would patiently wait? almost every year just for them to have a birthday so you could be like happy birthday and then hope that turns into um, a fulfilling relationship for the rest of your life. Oh yeah. hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. hundred percent. There's a girl I'm thinking of that I did that. You try to happy birthday your way into a marriage. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then it's just, but like in your mind, I mean a month before you're thinking about it, you're like, okay, her birthday is this day. I'm going to wish her happy birthday in this way, but like not too forward, but she'll keep the conversation going. Oh my gosh. My name is in it. Oh damn! She didn't. Oh well, it. that would make sense. That's she outed how, you. That's how your friend knew that it was you. Well, now we can out her. Wow, this is like this really hurts. Oh, this is, this is John's first John. internet drama. I'm sorry. I didn't speak to her for four years. That yeah. is that is pretty good at leaving her alone. And I broke the silence to apologize. Maybe she's like a dog where she doesn't understand concepts of time, so she thinks you've <laughs> only been gone like four hours <laughs> and not four years. I don't think you should compare women to dogs on the podcast. Um, well, they are bit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, it's a small bit. Jo- well, no, I don't that actually was, think that no, way. That was the joke. Was that? <laughs> no, but why, did, why would you make that joke in the first place? But, because because was, dogs don't have concepts of time. No, that I get that joke. <laughs> John, 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 John. No, we don't. <laughs> I, I love and respect women, but I was, the fact and I was, that you no, but like having to say that on the podcast <laughs> oh, like, because no. you're bringing it up. You're no. accosting me. I, <laughs> you are accosting me. I, you're the one that said I was comparing dogs to women, which I was not doing. John but, is yeah. fucking gaslighting. <laughs> you're gaslighting the hell me. out of you. <laughs> I feel. I know what she feels like now. I did not gaslight him. You all of a sudden, you turned something around to where he he did not he did not respect women. I didn't say that. I said I don't think we should compare women to dogs on the podcast. But that it was it was a joke. It wasn't real. It was you were <laughs> insinuating that I was comparing dogs to women. What did I even say? You, you said you, you maybe she's it, like a dog. That, she's like a dog. No, no, yeah, that, but not be, in not in the form of being a, a canine like like her just her memory. Because dogs don't have object permanence. Right. So you're suggesting. It's a very highbrow joke if you think about it. This has nothing to do this with. This is this is like pets level, and tomfoolery. This is like year three psychology. <laughs> I just, I don't think that that's a. I de- if I said, if I said she looks like a dog and like she. You like just that, says that she has the same cognitive development as a dog. No, in oh, one aspect. Who is that? <laughs> I'm not the one accosting my exes <laughs> and, and getting TikToks <laughs> made about them. So, okay, hold on. I okay. I'm not allowed to say okay. If I okay, if I did a a cost women like you've been doing, <laughs> if I did a cost women right now, Dude, I'm not allowed shot. to apologize. It can I at least apologize for it? Yeah. Is it genuine? It is genuine. I but I also didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, sorry. From me to you. <laughs> the wink. Yeah, the wink you is just like got hashtagged. No. Oh. Yeah, you did it right there. You <sighs> did I just get canceled? Science John, you just and delivered. gaslighted me into cancellation. <sighs> did I make you question your reality? Yeah, hundred percent. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? No, a hundred percent. Because I was not comparing women to dogs. I was comparing uh, a, a, a singular individual who is a woman to yes, a singular individual, not not women in general, to having a to having a cognitive development similar to a canine. That's like that's like if it was like yeah she heard my conversation in the ro- in the other room if I was like oh wow she's like a dog she can hear really well I'm not being like she's a dog I'm like she has this ability of a dog this one happens to be a little bit more negative I'll give you that okay all right I'm well. sorry to women um, my mom Indiana my grandma see now it feels like you're making a joke apology oh my god. <laughs>
Okay. Who I apologize to John. Apologize ex, to my mom. Something he can never do. Um, <laughs> I apologize <laughs> to Jared's moms. That's a hell of a story. I'm really sorry about that. It's fine. Maybe maybe we leave that ex in the past. There's this song that I really love. Called called um <laughs> I like how Jared Jared has to speed up your sentences because <laughs> John goes there's this song that I really wait love. you actively speed up my sentences yeah, I when I speak on this podcast are you kidding me <laughs> no and your sound editing you speed up no my well I, no I'm doing it live right now you're oh. like there's a song that I really love called and then it gets you because he, oh, he oh, knew oh. It gets he knew you, you were gonna do a dramatic pause for called <laughs> so he, he just he's like let's jump to it there's, don't worry Zach does the same thing for me really like you feed off each other yeah that's cool. and I'm feeding off of you right now okay do you want to hear about the song I do want to hear about the song <laughs> what's it called you really love it it's called coming back to a man okay. by dolls by dolls 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 like the figurines no like dolls <laughs> how do you spell it d-a-w-e-s dolls okay like all but with the in front of it <laughs> dolls jared what do you have for show and tell <laughs> john brought a memory <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay that's the lyric is it's some people were made to be a memory to be called upon to remind us how we've changed oh wow isn't that powerful that's beautiful <laughs> it's powerful it's like uh it's like bringing like my uncle who went to liberal arts school for eight years on the podcast <laughs> Wait, wait, he's like there's a poem by dawes that says people were made to be a memory. are you comparing me to your uncle or are you saying i don't know is that gaslighting <laughs> um there's a song that you over it you sent me i was going through uh some girl troubles like a while back when you sent with me with who shut are up you saying oh i sent you uh you sent almost maybe almost maybes by jordan davis great song because i had confided into john that i was like i was like it's not that i want to break up with this person it just doesn't feel like the right time and then he sent me a song where the chorus is here's to the almost so close it's over out the blues here's to the hey i think we need to talk it ain't me it's yous <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not included in this. Too. And here's this to the tears song. and beers and wasted years on the weeds that looked like daisies. I wouldn't be sitting here next to you if it weren't for the almost maybes. I'm so glad you guys have these poetry sessions. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a good it's, it's a good song. It's a, you should check so, it out. So the other day, me and the boys, we, like you're hearing on this podcast how you think we're very sophisticated men throwing out poems and things like that. No, we all three attended an event called Us three. Yeah. Called butts and boots. Okay. <laughs> why are you bringing that up? Why we would we bring it up? Why would we not bring up butts and boots? It was I fun. got, I got an email to my inbox I saw for it. a laundry. <laughs> John is, <laughs> John is logged into my email and reads every one of my emails. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. It's like this thing that we have. <laughs> yeah. it's He helps zero out with any emails. I'll just bring things up to him. He goes, yeah, I read about that. <laughs> I was like, I read like he, all his emails. <laughs> and you didn't do anything about well, it? Well, we, we were, I was trying to. There, there was a point in my life where uh, I was going to have him ha help out with brand deals and reach out to brands through my email. And he just never got around to it. <laughs> and then just stayed logging in my email and just still reads all my emails. I, I, I should have just been... I w it's something I wanted to do, but you got busy. I, I didn't do it. Okay. And, okay. So <laughs> anyway, so I looked into it. <laughs> I know you did. You read everything. So you look at all of it. <laughs> um, I'm aware of what Kyle is doing. I, I know. <laughs> Kyle's my manager. Shout out Kyle. <laughs> but anyway, we went to butts and boots because I got this email in my email that John read. It was, <laughs> hey, do you guys want to come to this uh, honey bur burdette burnett? I don't know who Honey the Burdette, Burdette, Burdette uh, lingerie party. They're like, Zach, would you like to come to this? Uh, you get to bring a plus one. And John already reads my emails. So I knew he was excited. So I brought him, brought Jared as well. Fought we, for a plus two. Fought. I fought hard for a plus two. Three guys, women in lingerie. Very respectful time, though. I think it's also important to say that it was a party celebrating a lingerie party brand's release of a new line like what? It, yes it wasn't just because we were wearing regular clothes and a lot of people there were as well i don't I, know how to even talk about women anymore because you've ruined I, it for me. it's <laughs> it's something to be conscientious of i am but i feel like i was and you made me feel like i wasn't so it was that saddle ranch for anybody it was, that, it was that saddle ranch everybody in la it's the la fishbowl where people who think they're cool go um and we walk in 
and where <laughs> we get in we get in the so there's just girls in lingerie and basically it's all western theme all western theme not really wearing much and then there's us coming up it's a lingerie party so that's what it's supposed to be and we come up and they're like uh we get in the picture line because we want to get getty <laughs> images done we're because we just want to feel like we're cool and we had multiple people come up to us and be like you guys can not be in this line this is like this <laughs> yeah. is like this is for the women in the lingerie like they want to they're like no no no. they probably want pictures of us here and then we go up to take the pictures for getty images and the guys just put their cameras down they didn't take they, a they didn't single picture one. they didn't take a single picture but we got a couple pictures just on our iPhone so we'll have to <laughs> I sat on that hay bale and everything I know you did like a class and, photo and then this <laughs> and then they're like the most LA thing um, this girl comes up to us who's working there she's like so why are you guys here and we were like oh we're just we got invited and then she's like oh like do you have followers and uh, and then you guys were like well he does like he's the reason yeah I was like I do music and then John works in production and is like Zach's the one with like TikTok and stuff like that and yeah you guys were like he like was invited um I guess because of his followers because that's what she was inquir inquiring about she's like I don't she's like yeah I hate when people are like this but like how many followers do you have and I was like <laughs> that, yeah she did say that. I was like this is weird I was like um, I thought she was talking to me <laughs> and you, <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna tell her um, I was going to say, uh, you should have been like, add me on my space. <laughs> you should have been like 400 million. And she's just like, what? I should have said, I'm little huddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the, I'm the smallest of huddies. <laughs> um, but she, she's like, oh, okay. Uh, I was like 3.7 million. She's like, oh, cool. That's really nice. She's like, I have TikTok too. And we're like, that's really cool. And she's like, yeah, but they don't blow up. I get like a hundred views. Um, you guys want to see him? And we're like, sure. Yeah. And then I thought I, I thought I asked to see them. Did she offer? I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. Well, John, you're, you're I don't think it matters. John, you're a smooth talker. So, are, but mm -hmm. she, she shows us her phone and she shows us one TikTok and we three didn't realize that <laughs> it had ended. <laughs> we, we, none of us reacted. She's like, she's like, this should have blown up. And then like, she showed it to us. And then like, we didn't like, I just felt, I just felt bad. Cause she, cause I thought I was expecting to laugh and have this big reaction, but I was like waiting for the end and then nothing happened. And then we are all just staring at the phone and she's like, let me show you another one. Let me show you. So we're sitting here. We're, we're like four TikToks deep and none of us can muster up a laugh. And I felt bad for the girl. But wait, talk about your moment that you had. You're like, I had the most Jared moment of my entire life. Oh, well, <laughs> well, when she goes to I'm, I'm very socially <laughs> awkward sometimes unless I get like drinks in me and keep in mind we're this is all happening outside of the bar so we haven't even gotten in yet um so i'm 100 percent sober and uh when she comes up to talk to us zach and john really take over the conversation and i just stand there kind of quiet and awkwardly we so, try to include you though i know you do do a good job of trying to include i want me. you to feel safe when you're around me i know no. john will gaslight the hell out of you but not me <laughs> okay but i just like i you you throw the bait out there but i just don't bite and uh and Wait. so she goes to show the TikToks and it's a Western theme. So she's got a cowboy hat on and then turns to show you guys, but completely like cuts me out of the group. <laughs> and I, and then her hat is blocking the phone screen. <laughs> so you couldn't so, even see the TikTok. Yeah. So then I like, I tried like looking over the shoulder and then I could see the screen, but I couldn't hear it. <laughs> and then finally, after I think the third TikTok, she realizes that she cut me out and then opens up to show the last one. That's big third friend on a sidewalk energy. Yeah. Yeah. That You've was always been before or ahead of the people. Oh, a hundred percent. I gotcha. How do you feel about that? Jared doesn't do well socially. Do you I have any Jared tips for does him? really well socially. I do well socially with people that I know. But it's hard to get to know people when you, you don't talk to it. them. We were we made friends. Did we? Yeah. Because <laughs> I, Melissa I, and Rayanne. Yeah. Um. They were nice. They were super nice, but I couldn't talk to them for more than like thirty seconds. Were you just nervous? What? Like yeah. what? <laughs> Can you just explain what happens to your body when a woman is presented to you in a form of conversation? It's not even a in woman. the wild. Oh, just a, it's, it's I, just I, I anybody. Because like I was at uh, like a friend of mine threw like a little shindig at his place, and I went by myself. And oh, I was I like, bet. "Were you petrified?" Oh my god, dude! I was sweating. I was sweating so bad. Did you say petulant? Petrified. petrified. That was a joke. No, we. <laughs> <laughs> and there's his fifth time. But <laughs> and there's his fifth. Um, 
but no, I just like freeze up and I just, I don't know, Zach, you're, you're really good. Both of you are really good at transitioning small talk to like an actual conversation. And I don't know how to do that. Do you remember when y'all made me practice with Indy, how to speak to a woman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so, Jerry needs to practice how to speak to a, just any human. I'm a stranger. I'm doing my own thing. You're going to talk to me. Well, we're, we're both standing next to each other at the bar and it's taking a while. Are you a uh, are you a woman of interest or are you just a tr maybe a friendship? Like what kind of? I'm just. Um, Should we do both? We'll do just a friendship first, like just like a guy at the party. A just, guy, so a guy at the party, and then the next one, someone he might. Yeah, I'll like. be I'll be the one. I'll be the woman that you might be able to fall in love with. Sick. Okay, so so go with, now. Really get that energy, Jared. Okay, this is someone you don't know. Okay, yeah, I can feel the pit in my. This stomach is not whitewashed right Jesus. This is someone you don't know. <laughs> but go this ahead. is someone you want to grab a beer with. So you're at the, you're at the bar right now. Wait, yeah, I, here I'll have bar. some music going at the bar. Uh, music at the bar. Yeah. Um, dude, I don't even know how to start the conversation. Hey, what? Were you talking to me? Bar music. No, <laughs> Jared, try. Okay, you think this podcast is just for s words and giggles? I he literally. That's what I would have done. Okay, fine. I'll be more warm. No, that's literally what I would have done in that situation. I All you been, said was, "Hey, yeah, like I, that can mean anything." I don't know how to start the conversation. Why don't you say, "What you drinking, man?" Yeah, try that. Let's let's run it back. Okay. What you drinking? Uh, uh, probably a blue moon. What about you, dude? I love blue moons. Those are my favorite. Really? That's great. Um. <laughs> I, I don't know where to go from there. So you just smile at him and look him <laughs> in his eyes? Only because we're... You could offer to buy me a blue moon. Okay, now this well, is... Now I feel like I'm hitting on you. <laughs> <laughs> now, bring that energy over here. Ready? All right, and I'll be the bar music. Lift, 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 right, lift. <laughs> hey, what you drinking? Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, tequila. <laughs> just straight tequila? <laughs> yeah, a pint. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> do you, um, do you, do you, what? Are you, do you want another one? Yeah, I'll take two pints of tequila, sure. Cool. Um, where are you from? O Ohio, where are you from? What? Where are you it's from? Loud in here, sorry. <laughs> no, I get it. I get. It. That's another thing. When we're at the bar and it's loud, I can, I'm so deaf. Oh, you like, want it louder? <laughs> that was really aggressive. I don't know why I did that. It felt like. Where are you? Up. Where are you from? <laughs> Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> it's really loud in here. It's really loud. <laughs> I've, I've never been. What's it like? You want to what? <laughs> What's it like? I've never been. I'm just going to go on with the rest of my life. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Thank you, John, for the very loud music. Yeah, sorry. I very loud music played more. by John. That was perfect, um, though. No. I okay, immersed. but I do I do understand what you're saying. That was a very intimidating place for a man with social anxiety to be because all women were in or most were in lingerie. Very um revealing lingerie yeah. and very confident and it's 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 a lot to go up to someone and I had I felt dirty just looking down. Dude, when <laughs> when the girls were riding the bulls, I Did you women, see the topless the, girl on the horse? First of all, women. There's a topless girl on the horse. When Stop. was that? This is no, that's women. that's one hundred percent true. What? Not girls, women. Feels women. like you're trying to overcompensate for something. Does this no, have something topless. to do with your ex? No, it's just like we're, it, these were all women over the age of eighteen. Well, yeah, yes, well, that's, we implied. So, so yeah, we were at a bar. People girls. don't just assume we're pedophiles off the bat till we prove them wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. What? <laughs> you can't. I can't say. I cannot say that I'm not a pedophile. N uh, you uh, what you just said implied i am what do you mean here we go hey guys welcome back uh welcome to episode 88 of the podcast I'm John, Indiana Masara. john's uh gaslighting me into th making me think i'm a pedophile no we're not pedophiles everyone was 18 and over probably no, 20, it was 21 and over okay 21 and over so there we, we go. Yes, you they're all now women. put the twenty-one and over at the top okay. of the segment. <laughs> I was watching the band the whole time. No, 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 no. They no. were awesome. Go this you. is a ridiculous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to be. I'm trying. I'm trying to dance around. I'm trying to make sure everybody knows I'm inclusive and I don't hate women now because of you. W women are good. What do I say? You, you <laughs> were, you, you were fine. 
It was a lingerie party. The women were fine being in lingerie. We're not saying they were fine. Not we. We're not saying they should be dressed more, right? Like that's what the party was. Okay, but you were. This is like a really were, crazy, like <laughs> deep dive. This climate into, like, is wild. Semantics, <laughs> and okay. I think this is a really educational opportunity. <laughs> okay, and I think that you should get a specialist on the next for what's appropriate, how to say things. For yeah, because we're three white dudes that's having true. a conversation about a topic that we really are outsiders looking in on. Like there's so much that we can't explain or add to this conversation. I'm just trying to say Jared was nervous around pretty women. That's a hundred percent. Right. But the, it's, it, there's a lot of layers to the situation. What I'm saying is I felt like a little bit of a creep when I would look down. Cause I'll just sometimes I'll think and I'll look down and when everyone's like booties are out, I didn't want them to think I was objectifying them and just mm -hmm. being like, Oh, I'm staring at your butt. That's why you watch the band the whole time. Oh, that was actually a good call. That's why I went up there. I like feel most comfortable just watching the live music. That makes sense. I, I did feel better when we went like and just watched the band. Jared did know? say he saw the prettiest girl of his entire life there. And all he, I, th I knew all he wanted to do was Woman. talk to her. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a child. I feel like girl, like if I said boy, like I feel like then you would be right, like, but you're that's a, man, a little, but you're a man. But no, but I, but like I feel like guy is what you say if they're a young woman, or I mean a young man. But you say girl if it's like a young woman. Well, I I think that if it's someone that's eighteen plus, <laughs> it's a woman. Dude, you're running our HR from now on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This is Toby over here. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm just saying, like, can't get canceled while John's around, or maybe you can. You can get extra canceled. I don't know. Did I just like bring stuff out of you that you seem like real nervous? You're quick to say I'm a gaslighter, but you're <laughs> now he's gaslighting oh me. Oh my god! Uh, how is that gaslighting? You're I gaslighting me something. about gaslighting you. I said that you are quick to go. Jared, pull up the definition of gaslight. Okay, here we go. Here we go. God, I hate when we have HR John on to manipulate someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. That's what you've been doing to me this whole podcast. So, what is sanity? Oh. oh my god so okay let's look that up sanity definition uh the ability to think and behave in a normal and rational manner sound mental health okay so, do you agree you've been doing this to me you've been accosting me this entire podcast <laughs> i'm gonna make a tiktok about you that i'm accosting you yeah because i interpreted something you said is it wait wait i have a genuine question is this how you are in your head all the time like it must be hell <laughs> like is this what i think about? yeah are you like like walking a tightrope of like what's right and what's wrong look the, i think that we're like entering into a, a day and age where being educated and conscientious and like we're figuring it out like <laughs> yeah it, but there are some lines that don't need to be crossed like and, girl and woman yeah i think that's super important okay i'm sorry and i think that it's like just super important to try to be when does a girl become a woman at the age of 18 Using that term is infantilizing. Of women, the age is eighteen plus. Like, okay, when I think of when I think of girl, what do you think of? I think of a girl my age. I think of I think of twenties. Oh. I think when you say girl, I think of six. Well, that, I, I think, think that's, that's something, something with you. you I, I, don't I, don't so. the, I don't think so. Two out of the three. That oh, this is a really small pool that we're assessing. No, this is the perfect pool. <laughs> <laughs> three white guys. But, yeah, but you're not. in the kitty pool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm saying like that's the it's infantilizing to continue to refer to a woman in their twenties as okay. a girl. Should I FaceTime Indy and we can ask her? Yeah. God, she's gonna be on your side. Oh, she's a hundred percent gonna be well, on your side. Well, we definitely need her to weigh in on this. hundred percent. Hey, you're on the podcast. We have a question to ask you. Can you put this on the screen? Yes. Hi Indy. Uh, you John? Yeah, John says hi. No, this is the guest John. Troy Hudson. Okay, okay. Would you be offended if someone said, Wow, that's a beautiful girl? Uh, give more time. Okay, so John, this is this is essentially the argument. John and I and Jared were talking about we went to Butts and Boots, and there there were I'm, for right now I'm going to say females there. This, that's not well, that's not derogatory. That's a derogatory. No, no, no but I'm not using it derogatory. I'm just saying like you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You don't. Huh? Women there. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get there. That's the whole point. That's the see <laughs> see. No, no, okay, but we were just saying like. Like Jared and I were like, is is her audio definitely being recorded? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's 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 going into the mic. I said, yeah, Jared saw the prettiest girl he'd ever seen there, and then John's like, no, 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 you have to say woman, 
or else I think of a six-year-old girl. Uh, first of all, that's not what I said. I personally think, okay, I actually had this debate with somebody the other day, and I think it's about intent, but I think that it is, I, I think it is about intent, but I do think that it should be more of a societal standard to start calling girls or females. Oh, hell, this is not why I called you. <laughs> say you no. Think don't interrupt. No. Zach, deal. don't interrupt her. Let it her say not, her definitive it statement. Not, look, personally to me, it's not a huge deal. I don't appreciate when people call me a girl because I'm like, you can call somebody from the ages of like, you know, birth to, um, you know, 17. But the minute they're 18, like I'm a woman, like even younger, they even 17. Like I'm a woman. Don't disrespect me by calling me a girl or a female. Like I'm not calling you a male. Like, like In many cultures, you become a woman earlier, like quince years. Menstruation. Or bat mitzvah situation. I think, I think it just depends on the situation. If you're singularly referring to something like a woman then i think you should say woman because i i find it a little bit like a tiny bit demeaning to say girl personally to be like is this girl well, i don't know that's just my personal opinion i don't think that you meant any poor intent behind it well I john's gaslighting me <laughs> okay gaslighting i feel like it should definitely be a more societal standard to say woman than girl when you get to a certain age like you're not going to go call i'm not going to go call your mom a girl like that's weird she's a woman you know what i mean well jared just winked at me when you said that what <laughs> if you have a chance where it sounds correct to say woman you need to say woman because or women you know what i mean look it just depends but if you have the opportunity and it sounds correct i think you should always try and use woman or women but in the context of being phonetic like you were saying okay if you're like are the guys and girls coming is that wrong or should i say are the guys no, and a little different because phonetically it sounds more correct to be like are the guys and girls coming versus that's what i'm like, saying i'm not ever trying to disrespect i just thought it sounded, <laughs> sounded more phonetically correct okay that's fine but in the setting that you said it you could have said woman or women and it would have correct it would have sound just as fine much much later hold on no dude, this is gonna get so long wait, 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 no wait wait presley's there i just want to say this like are you not a girl yeah, i am but <laughs> presley said are you but not I, a girl I, like, I much prefer being called, like, it's, it's a slightly demeaning. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I didn't say, like, I didn't say that what he, the way he said it, he didn't mean any, like, derogatory intent. He didn't mean anything offensive by saying girl. Like, I don't mind, but, like, I feel like sometimes if you have the opportunity to say woman or women, then you should. You need to get the stick out of your ass. <laughs> you have no idea, do you? I can't comment because I'm not a female, but that's the stupidest but thing. But that's I've my ever thing. Heard. You are commenting though. Well, the vague guy I'm commenting. That's fucking dumb. It's dumb to you. You don't call you don't call like a thirty year old a girl, but like I'm sure. But that's person... my thing. That's my thing. He he called like it was like they were like in their like late twenties, thirties. Early, early, Perry, early Perry. Perry. That's there's because you've been socially conditioned to believe that it is okay to, to call a woman girl, older than eighteen. Girl up until like the age of like. I think girl is fine up until 27. But I that's, also, that's the age that I've just come up with. But you're also all male and aren't like fit to comment on something like this. Come off it. No, I, I, if I. If someone called you a pretty no. girl, you would not go. I'd prefer to be called a pretty girl. No, pretty I'm girl. not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm that's saying. That's what you just said. No, I didn't. I said. I'm saying that I don't personally have an issue with it. I personally don't, but I know a lot of people that do. Like, literally, I was having this conversation with the other day and her boyfriend or whatever was like called her a girl and she was like i gave up that title a long time ago you need to call me a woman yeah but if if her boyfriend said that she was a pretty girl i doubt she would but, die but, I, I, excuse, I, excuse me boyfriend i'm a pretty woman she did well Lauren but, needs but, to get the sea out of her ass as well but, right? but that's my thing it's just like much 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 later okay wait presley, presley slightly like presley's changed my mind i just lit her into changing her mind <laughs> <laughs> A lot of gaslighting on this podcast. Oh. Presley changed your mind. What happened? Okay. Because he said a woman has a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain aura, a certain presence. And I actually very much agree with what he said. Because if you, like, he, he, he stated, okay, if you see a, a girl, quote unquote, walking down the street in, like, a pair of little short shorts, a Converse, and a Supre shirt, you're not going to be like, oh, my God, that American. Oh, no. Like a little Forever 21 shirt. Like, they're not going to be, you're not going to be like, oh my God, that woman is so, but if you see like a woman in like, you know, a really nice power suit and like 
cute. And like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's. A, I think it's like, a she's, thing. she's still a woman. She's like, still a woman, but I, I think maybe the title of a woman or womanhood comes with a, a certain demeanor and presence about you. Okay, I do agree with what you said. Though. Okay, is that your final statement? That is my. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for you guys' contribution. We are now giving our final statements. I I still haven't been allowed to say my final statement. John, you're about to get your final statement, All buddy. of you keep arguing sorry, with we gotta me go. about my final statement. Okay, bye. Bye. One thing I got to say. We're sorry for not giving you your final statement. Go ahead. And I genuinely am sorry for not giving you your final statement. Thank you. My final statement is... <laughs> if you say the same... Th- we heard the first part. Yeah, but... Give us the back half. The back half? Uh, I'm just saying, like, I think that... Uh, regardless of what your intention is because you're a white man and the setting in which you say things it's really important for you to be conscientious and understand why people might be frustrated or hurt or offended by certain conditioned ways we've learned to talk to people like referring to a woman in their 20s as a girl which is not accurate but what if it's accurate to them? Then that's a conversation that you can have with that person. But from a general standpoint, when you're having a wait, conversation wait, wait, on wait, a podcast, wait, 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 wait. Oh God, we're going back. Wait, in no, 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 shut up, shut up. No, we're no, done stop, with the stop, stop, No, no, no. This we're is my done. last statement. This is my final statement. You already had your final statement. I have another final statement. All I'm saying is it's the situation is three white dudes. I've only heard a white man tell me this. Look here, <laughs> it's three white dudes having a conversation. I'm being on oppressed a by a white man. Three white dudes having a conversation about going to a lingerie party <laughs> with that's women. What, that's all. And, to talk and about. the two of you are throwing around girl. We're and not this throwing is, it around. I'm just having a conversation. I know. I said but Jared the point saw a pretty is, girl. Is the context. I said Jared saw a pretty girl, and now we're here. The point is the context. But I'm saying if we slow down every conversation because we think we have malintent, then we're not going to get anywhere. It doesn't matter about malintent. It matters about the con- context of what's going on. Three men talking about a lingerie okay, party so and Jared, saying the word girl. So Jared saw a human being with copious amounts of estrogen um, <laughs> <laughs> at this can, party. You cannot. At this party. That he, Long story short, I saw a pretty woman. There we go. I was, was the movie scared, good? <laughs> I was too scared to talk to her. Okay. Moral of the story. God. I try to get, and this is, God, how do we get here? Okay. We're at the lingerie party. There's a woman. You got it. Congratulations. That's, it. That's all it is. No, but all I'm saying is that just came out. <laughs> Pro- progress. Progress. We're okay, there was progress. A, there was a woman on the bull. Yes. Right. And the woman on the bull. What about we, the woman we still on the bull? We still don't know if that's what the people want yet. <laughs> that's what John wants. I've heard different opinions from girls. We'll get it from, in the comments. From women? From a woman, yes. <laughs> Hell, let's get it. Okay. The, the person of interest that Jared wanted to fall in love with potentially was in front of us, and we were watching the, the person on the bull, and Jared walked up, and we were behind the person of interest, and I tried to get Jared to talk to her, and you didn't. I, d- I didn't. <laughs> I, and now, do I regret it? A little bit, but, you know, I also 100% would have uh, fumbled the ball on that, you know, and just... I would have said, "Hey, how are you?" And she she seems nice. So, Should do you we, do you can What? Should we do another practice sesh? Do you can sure. do you consider yourself out of do you did you consider her out of your league? Like what was the Yeah, 100%. Why why is that? Um like in your mind, why do you look at someone as quote unquote pretty and think that she's out of your league? Because conventionally, you know, or like it, she is beautiful, right? And I'm not saying that I'm not a handsome guy. You are a handsome guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. For coming welcome. from a white man, though. But I'm saying... <laughs> coming from his friend. <laughs> but I'm saying, uh, com- like, when I compare myself <laughs> to the other gentlemen that were at that party... Zach. John. Like Zach and John, <laughs> you know. Do you, do you think um, I'm attractive? Yeah. <laughs> Like, are you just saying like like, a little ego? No, no, no. That's like, that's genuinely, I just genuinely wanted to know like how people perceive me. Like, I feel like I I would be like an average, like cut of the average, very average male. No, I I think you're way above average when I, well, we're not talking, uh, when we, (laughs) when we go out, right. I legitimately ego, John, (laughs) when we go out to places and stuff, I legitimately feel 
like I'm in the movie The Duff, right? Like I legitimately feel, <laughs> I feel like, like I'm no. the designated ugly fat friend. No. 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 And that's not that's that has like major pick me energy and I'm so so sorry. No, like no, I did what, not what it doesn't this is your pick me. Pick this is, me? But pick me. Oh, like you want us to like be like Yeah, like I'm fishing Dude, for this guy is no TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? That's not what I'm doing at all. But I'm just saying, Zach, traditionally and conventionally, you you're tall, you have a sharp we're, jawline. We're, we're about the same height. What? You're no, you're you're taller than me. Li- literally people Yeah, you're taller than John. Yeah. But John, you have a lot of like masculine features, like you have great hair, Thank you me. have uh <laughs> you also have a great jaw. You look like and you, you exclusively have a drink from beard. the Holy Grail. <laughs> you got some <laughs> You got some thick thighs on you, but like okay, in a good right. way. But what what I'm saying is that compared to us, right? I'm not as tall. I don't have as sharp as a jawline. I'm not as, as like thin. No, you're way more stout than I am. You have a more desirable male physique. I don't know what I can say anymore. But here's the thing. I think <laughs> I think it's also human nature that we all want what like we don't have, right? Like you want to put on weight and you want to put on muscle. Whereas like I have that weight and like I could transform into muscle more, you know, like I can lose a little bit of fat percentage. I think the only thing that you're lacking is confidence. I, but here's the thing, the confidence that I'm lacking comes from comparing myself to people. I don't know how to do that. Um, but, uh, I don't know how to not do that because I do it all the time. Um, but what and I'm I, saying and is I genuinely traditionally think- in LA, especially at these parties, especially at a lingerie party, um, there's a lot of very attractive people, both men and women. And when I compare myself to the other men there, I lose a little bit of confidence because I don't look like that. No, because you're you're a handsome, handsome man. I think and okay, say you weren't even. I think that women uh, more than men, they're definitely more attracted to personality anyway, where I think that's where, even though you are attractive, I think that's where the confidence will even be a higher boost when, when dealing with, did you just make a sweeping generalization about women and their, and what they appreciate? A hundred percent. I did on that one. So cancel me for that one. The other one, don't cancel me on this one. Feel free. I think Jared, you're really charming and you're really nice. And I feel like you, have See, this turned into like compliments. I, this is not well, what I was you're looking a little pick me boy who asked for this. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, Pikmin, y'all remember that GameCube game, Pikmin? Pikmin? Did what? I just date us? Uh, I haven't played it. So, you, I, you don't remember you Pikmin? Are you kidding no. me? No. Do you remember Super Mario Sunshine? I think so. I, a little bit. I didn't play it. Comment if you. Sorry, I wasn't, sorry I wasn't rich, John. Rich white man. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I, goodness. Jared and I lived in a two bedroom apartment with 10 people. That is true. Well, you were rich. I was in an Airbnb, a one bedroom Airbnb with four people. He thinks he's better than no, us. No, I'm saying. <laughs> How many square feet? <laughs> I don't know, but exactly they, told, they told us there were, uh, they didn't specify that it was a one bedroom. They said that there, it slept six people. Where? Where were they sleeping, these people? Look, did you also have I bunk d- beds? I was, I was booking an Airbnb across the country. I had, no idea what I was doing. This is when I first showed up. We were in an Airbnb for 52 days. 52 days? Could That's never expensive. afford it that, could we, Jared? Oh, my god. Well, gosh. we split it between four people. Yeah, I bet you did, huh? It was <laughs> stupid. Jeez. I had an Airbnb for four days um, in Koreatown. And K-Town, baby. Yeah, but it was Sorry, not. I called you baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, John. John, you, you're the problem. You're the problem. Did people even hear our argument against baby? I don't think so. Um, During our 45 minute break, uh, (laughs) John said that it's offensive to call. I said it's infantilizing to use the word baby when referring to a partner that you're with. That's nauseating. Um, (laughs) Unless both of you agree that that is a term of endearment that you appreciate the other one calling you. Well, if you could airdrop me the form, I'd appreciate it. Um, I will airdrop it for you. <laughs> I'm sure you've got it. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to call my girlfriend baby, and she's going to call me a little baby boy. Okay, that's I call choice. Jared my baby boy. You do call me that. And he also hates yeah, it. I do hate yeah. that. And that's it's case in point. <laughs> case in point. But case in point, I'm a problem because I don't care. Because he's, <laughs> oh he's my little baby boy. I think that is the case in point. <laughs> I'm, I'm a problem. problem. <laughs> And he is my little baby. I'm glad we got that on record, Zach, saying case in point, I'm the problem because I don't care. (laughs) I'm going to tattoo that on my back. Oh, my gosh. No regrets. It's a very, like, nerve-wracking and vulnerable thing to have a conversation on this platform. 
with the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nerve wracking to have a conversation with you on this platform. I've, I have to think through everything I've ever said in my entire life to see if I'm offending someone. Because look, look, if we just posted, like no one has ever been like, Zach, you offended me in all 87 episodes that we've done until episode 88. Maybe they didn't express it. Or maybe they never thought about it. So you're saying I'm, I've, yeah, I've brought you. You, you invoke cancellations. <laughs> you invoke problematic behavior by calling out unproblematic behavior. I think I'm just acknowledging behavior that I observe. Every, also, you should know this. Every note I ever give you in a script is very like, it's very cut this out. It wasn't that. It wasn't even offensive being, at all. It's about being conscientious. Yes, but con- I, I am very conscientious. First of all, this is why I'm calling up people four years later and apologizing for. Yeah, this. I know. This is what I'm saying. I feel like it's a lot to be inside your brain sometimes because I feel like uh, the human experience is loving and learning, and I feel like sometimes you can't let things go, and maybe things weren't as <laughs> as much of a. Pro- <laughs> You're not the maybe, first person to tell me I can't let things go. And maybe things aren't just as as big as you seem. Like maybe I'm just like saying words. And I feel like no one. If I would have been like Jared saw a pretty girl at the party, not one person even watching the thing would have been like should have said woman. And then you. I were was like, just like we're talking about this event that we went to that was to promote a new line of this lingerie I think, company. But I think you're the only one that made it feel like any pedophilia was involved. I didn't. I never said there was any pedophilia involved. You, I said that it's just important to to use proper terminology in describing the context. You said you don't want people to think there's little girls there. Because you're saying... Yeah, so that's I pedophilia. Saw, I'm saying you're inaccurately describing the situation by using the term girl. And oh you, my God, we're not getting into this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get into it. You think Epstein killed himself? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> As you speaking, should be. speaking of lingerie, I read this uh, Reddit Is it thread. lingerie or lingerie? Oh, here we go. <laughs> now he's just correcting like how we're saying things. <laughs> Vernacular. Not, not Vernacular. Lingerie. I read this Reddit thread of people who grew up with um, like porn star parents or like nude model parents and what it was like to grow up with them. And I thought some of them were kind of funny. Um, like the, for example, I'll read you some of the the, the funny ones. Is this what you were pulling up while we were arguing? No, 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 no. I Whoa, read debating, this earlier. discussing, inquiring. Like for example, this one. There were a couple of kids who were the children of a quote unquote well known actress who had a sex tape, and at their school, a group of kids held them down and forced them to watch their mom's tape. Oh my gosh, <laughs> children are terrible. Children are awful, and that's like that was like the more I only pulled like the slightly funny ones. There are a lot of ones that are like really sad where they're like, yeah, I got ridiculed as soon as, um, as soon as kids found out. I mean, of course you would though. Yeah. But like, there's just some things there's like, you're on, it's unprotectable. See, this is like this, this, this conversation is making me nervous. Why? It just is. Cause it's like, we're talking about like something taboo. It's not taboo. No, if if you're if you're in high school and your mom's a porn star, there's no way that you're not going to get bullied for that. I'm not saying you should get bullied. I'm saying there is zero chance that you're not going to like because well, people are that, awful. I and I want to recant my statement of saying children are terrible. That's a sweeping generalization. <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, those children were being terrible in that those situation. girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> those those not women were being terrible. <laughs> Those adolescent women. <laughs> this one man's mom uh, started, started modeling lingerie and uh, doing nude modeling straight out of high school, uh, okay. but he didn't know until his older siblings uh, told him. Like they just got fed up with him not knowing, and they all had to like dance around the subject. And uh, he said at his sister's baby shower, one of my mom's coworkers and her daughter were there, and the daughter asked him how he coped with what our moms did, and he was super confused. Wow. This, is, this is why I pulled it uh, for the, like the last line. He's like, I was super confused. At the time, I thought she volunteered at the police station as some sort of social worker. <laughs> <laughs> There's, but she, he always wins the hot mom contest. Can That's we, true. Uh, Objectively, was I your mom attractive? Uh, what? I'm just asking a question. Like what growing up, I'm people thought my mom was attractive. I'd hear murmurs. Uh, no comment. <laughs> okay, pleads the fifth. Smart man. Please. But, dude, people would that's what I get bullied got bullied about. My mom in her forties, that was the time that she was the most snatched, as the kids say. And I, I heard a lot of people would come up to me and be like, Your mom's got it. Really? I, I wouldn't mind getting down. And I would be offended. They would talk about Miss Gina like that. Oh, that's so disrespectful. Even that's more terrible. even more foul. This woman Thank you. was objectified. No. Actually. 
Wait, I want to know what you got bullied for in high school. Um, I was being fat and yep. had two gay moms. There we go. So <laughs> it'd be weird if just one of them was gay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> just two moms. I had two moms. Did people bully you for having two moms? Yeah, you got beat up. I got beat up. Really? Yeah, I got oh, called wow. the f word a lot. Um, I was also like, I have a really young face, especially back then when I was like a little chubbier. So I had like really chubby cheeks, and so. Um, I got bullied a lot because I had the same initials as Justin Bieber. Uh, same, same with you. JB, JB. Yeah. Uh, you so, guys really went through it, huh? There's that. I'll do you one better. Oh, okay. I have the same initials as John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this backpack. Now that that's said, a subject I'm not going to touch. <laughs> that, said, that said JWB. And people would say, oh, like John Wilkes Booth. Oh my God. And you would say? Say, No. Okay, good. <laughs> Any other answer would probably would have been a little problematic. Jared, I ha I had no idea. That is really terrible that that okay, happened to okay. you. Don't act like you care. It's okay. That's the first time I'm hearing that. It's, it's on this past. podcast. He doesn't care. Oh. Did you notice how there's no inflection in his voice? Uh, well, he never has any inflection the, in his voice. Let me try again. This is the first time that I'm hearing that. Oh, it sounds and weird. Oh to hear. my gosh. It is on this podcast? How was that? I don't like when you have inflection in your voice. You sound no? like a valley boy. How would you guys feel if you found your a bunch of your mom's tapes, but with like several different guys over the last few years? How would you feel to I, know that my mom we, has been in church mom, every Sunday since I was born yeah. and sometimes on Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and she would never do that. Do you know what a wanna night is in the South? Question. I don't think you do. Do you know what a wanna is? Wanna? A wanna? A wanna. You don't know what that is? Really thought you backed me up on this. There's a church thing on Wednesday, Wednesdays that my mom would go to. Anyway, my mom has been to a Methodist church, non-denominational, Wait, what Baptist, does Awana Catholic. Mean? It's 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 just a group meeting on on Wednesdays. It's, What's it stand for? I don't think it's. It might stand for something. I don't. I think it's something in the Bible. It sounds like a brand of water. It, like it doesn't mean family. Okay, now listen. <laughs> this one guy. <laughs> <That was> funny. <laughs> <laughs> this one guy said people wouldn't shut up about how big. This is a direct quote from him. <laughs> People wouldn't shut up about how big my dad's monster dog was, and I Why? disappointed a lot of girls. <laughs> Why are you? I thought that was funny. He used the have, term have monster you, dog. At what point um, in your adolescence to full man did, were you confident in your um, third leg? I am not answering that question. All right. Well, Why, why not? What about you, Jared? Um, <laughs> see how he gets right into it. Yeah, this, but when that's was, the problem. When, when Why I, is that the problem? What's when, a, what's when problematic? Was I confident about it. Uh, uh, when when a girl pulled down my pants and she said, "Whoa!" Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> Do you ever ever have a whoa moment? Um, can I at least ask this? Cut or uncut? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> uncut gems. <laughs> uncut gems. <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my roommate, well, Scotty, uh, doesn't know. He doesn't that know. He showed me a, a, a funny meme. Uh -huh. Honestly, I should just send it to you. Okay. We'll determine if it's funny. I I'll, think you should put it on the podcast. Okay. I'll throw it in there. If it's funny, this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> John, <laughs> this is the, the worst you can say is no. And then that bus gets hit by a train that says ill. <laughs> Have you experienced this, John? <laughs> yeah, in some degree. I think I we feel all like, have. I feel like John hasn't gotten off 2009 uh, Facebook humor. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. No, it was. It was. It's just like he's he's so woke in, in the way that he, don't say woke. Okay, <laughs> you see what I mean? In in, in I don't even in in the way that you are, but in your humor, I like that it's a little dated. I, do y'all want to see some of my bad luck Brian memes? Shut the hell <laughs> up! I I'm shutting that down have right you, now. Wait, have y'all have y'all seen? Um, you look like you load up iPhone in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> have y'all seen um, the Velociraptor? Velociraptor? What? That was like a old school meme, and I was trying to like say something funny, but you have never heard of the Velociraptor. It is like one of the most like I think this is one of the most like old school memes ever. Like this is come. This came out when the term meme came out. This is funny. We'll this be is, the judge this of is that. Good. <laughs> I, I like. I did not laugh out loud when I read it, but it's funny, dude. <laughs> get with the fucking times, okay? If you watch an Apple store get robbed, are you an eyewitness? <laughs>
<laughs> How is your humor so dated, but your political views so so current? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, it's funny. Oh, he's got. It's a, funny that you like, think it's so funny. One. He's got another one. Okay, <laughs> when two left-handers have an argument, who is right? Two wrongs don't make a right. What does that have to do with this? But 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 three lefts do. Two rights make an airplane. Two rights make Yeah, like the Wright brothers. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's something my Zach dad just end me. the podcast. <laughs> All right, play? guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, <laughs> this week, we had Father John on <laughs> to educate. Father John Misty. <laughs> he uh, he tweeted everything out of his mouth, so you don't have to. Um, <laughs> I tweet. He hashtagged all of us, and now we are all canceled, which is fine. We apologize. Um, we'll see you next week with um, probably not John. <laughs> Bye. I'm officially. You're done. canceled from the podcast. I'm canceled from the podcast. You're canceled for canceling. All right, all right. Swag day. Wait, if you stay till the end, send me your worst old memes. Your worst old memes? <laughs>